Hell's ever doing? It's been what, three days since the last time we've done this. Is it still yeah. itchy? With that. Okay, well, be safe. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you for letting us come hang out. <clears throat> Uncle Bo didn't want to leave. He was sad that he had to leave you. Yeah, because it's always on his brother's time. Nothing has to do with the rest of us. And it's so sad, too, because Uncle Bo loves to be with us, you know. And when I gave him... I can't tell. Yeah. Goodbye. <clears throat> Good luck. It's hot already today. Who does? Oh. Thank you. Ciao. Yep. means that I can have a laundry room, right? L.A. U. And D.R.Y. See this, um, fan behind you right there? That blue one? No. That's like the van that Papa Chuck's gonna give us. Oh, well. Bye! She can't hear it. She will. One day. Maybe. Straight master base. Master base. Straight master base. Idiots, I had the walls doubled up for a reason. Because I want there to be two walls between this and the other end. Because this end is going to be for people who fail so badly at being good that they actually have to spend time inside of uh, medium security. That's the plan. <clears throat> Boy, I don't remember what 90% of this shiznit was for. Okay, obviously the chapel has to be made with brick, right? Yeah, lucky bastard. And the pew has to face the wall. Okay. Now we can label this as a nice little chapel. I built a cleaning cupboard. Could have sworn I had. This is to be the cleaning cup. <clears throat> oh, right. You don't want any church noise leaving the church room. I was damn tripping out about me getting nailed from Alaska. How'd you get mail from Alaska? Heather sent me a check to Alaska. Oh, yeah. 
That kind of makes sense, though. Unfortunately, it lost my two-hour session freaking sieve. I shouldn't have been doing such a lengthy session. Okay, maybe I should hold off till I get more furniture. What do you think? Objects, bunk bed. See, an efficient person would do all this so that, like, the beds and stuff were all just set up with a copy paste tool. But I'm not efficient. I like to do things myself. You know, all these doors have to be solid. Because it's more expensive. These guys are medium security, so they're probably just waiting to go eat shit. Staff, use an extra count, don't you? Maybe, maybe just a regular sofa. One that's facing towards the pool table. Yeah, face of course. Let's see about making a call. I see. No. Yeah, I have to hire a janitor. Oh, oh poor janitor. That's right, I'm supposed to lay out pipes before. Oh. I'm sure this disaster piece will end positively. Well, Hope that that comes. Yeah, I put in extra water. Everybody's eating. Somebody must have got stabbed. Shake them. Can't believe some dumbass got themselves killed. C. 
cigarettes. I didn't know cigarettes were contraband in prison. Oh shit. Maybe I should change the rules. I'll, 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 I'll let you guys smoke all the marijuana you want, as long as you agree to grow it yourself. Well, I mean, I made sure there were two trees in their yard. So that they would have a slightly nicer yard. Then I split the yard with, like, a wall. So if they want, they can go into the big yard with the small yard. And it kind of segregates just a little bit from each other. So that they're not all in the same yard. Ah, uh, yeah, let me kill the mic, too. Are you talking? Oh, well. I don't feel bad about him being blue, I suppose. Am I getting genders mixed up? <laughs> I, I assume that the ones with schlongs are dudes, but I've been wrong before. And apparently, genders are fluid. So. Stan thinks that you seriously do, like, own all of everything and that everything's a front. Yeah. I think he thinks that you're, like, secretly a multi-millionaire. Oh, yeah, but I'm a multi-millionaire. He's like, and then you just pull the truck out of your ass! And I'm like, um, no, I worked really hard, and I took every last fucking cent that I had and put it into a truck. That's what I did. A few cents you didn't have, let's be honest. Yeah, well, he doesn't know that for But anyways, so... Basically, Rob Peter paid Paul and bought a truck and didn't pay any of my bills. I didn't pay my phone bill, I didn't pay my insurance bills, I didn't pay any bills. I took every cent that I made <laughs> for the month and bought a truck and I had to buy new insurance for this truck. Whatever, you know, it, it's just like, he's just jealous, that's what it is. He still owns a vehicle, which is the stupid thing ever to do. Don't get a fucking vehicle loan so that you can be stuck with something that you really don't want. Or something that's going to be breaking down. Or something, whatever. You're going to be stuck with that thing until it's paid off. Unless you can find some idiot who wants to make your payments for you. You can find somebody that's stupid enough to take over your payments. Well, you're pretty lucky. Everybody knows the value of that vehicle is already gone. There is no value. As soon as it drives off the lot, it drops. You know how much your vehicle's value drops when you drive off the lot of a car lot by a vehicle? Don't really care to find out. I mean, it seems well, to me like it'd be easier to build my own vehicle. Yeah, well, it's easier to just go. Okay, my thought is. That if this vehicle made it through to somebody else who obviously does not take care of their stuff as well as I do, then that means it'll make it for me. Even though it has 190,000 miles on it, which I can say that I've already put 10,000 miles on it, you know? <laughs> yeah, but we're like that. You know, all doing stuff. Well, the whole thing is, let me just paint it. First, you're going to replace all three bases. There's a 
bunch of them. I think we're missing five. Amazing. And then Thomas says, Oh, the guy you bought for the truck company calling me and asking me to go to work for his month. Last time I see him, he was all asking me to go buy him beer and cigarettes, and I said, I'm not rude enough. And he said, Oh, really? I thought you were way more good. <laughs> I wanted to be like, Wow, that's funny. Everybody else thinks I'm 21. Well, he thinks I'm way older. But looking at the color of my hair, asshole. Blonde. You just don't know. Some people, you know, are born with them. Uh, yeah. They sure are. And I have perfect. Define perfect. Um, pretty darn good compared to everybody else that I know that is my age group. I seen this lady the other day. She was telling me how old she was. She's my age. And I was sitting there thinking, holy crap! That was the first thought in my brain. Holy crap! I think that's sure? a reasonable thought. Are you sure you're not 60? Are you sure? No way. Well, you gotta realize a lot of people uh, from your time frame didn't actually give a shit about themselves. Yeah, you're right. They all did all kinds of drugs. <laughs> It, it was a fad back in the day to be drunk all the time. It still kind of is a little bit of a fad. It was bad to be able to well, party. Yeah, I mean, there's basically two people in my age group. The ones who have, like, 30 freaking kids being pumped out of them. And, you know, the ones who are drunk all the time. Having kids is not that bad. Well, no, I'm just... It kind of weirds me out that those are the two primary groups, though. It just seems a tiny bit illogical. Increasing. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit worried. I think there might be... Oh, wait, don't do that until... I think there's something going on in here. <clears throat> Warren Balthazar. He did criminal damage and perjury, and he pled guilty to both of them. Uh, perjury is when you lie in writing or something. You lie in Judge you a question when you're under oath. Ah. Oh yeah, that's what uh, Clinton got kicked out for. My 56th favorite president. Offshore tax haven. My favorite is Garfield, just because that's his name. Yeah, I liked how he got shot. Back I like how he got stuck in a bathtub. He got stuck in a bathtub because his doctors were so smart. They were like, ah, I bet you we can just dig it out. They should have just left the damn thing where it was. Dogs. What damn thing? The bullet. Because he had been shot in the gut or something, and they kept trying to dig it out and dig it out, and they just made it worse and worse and worse. <clears throat> you got stuck in the bathtub. Yeah, it happens. Oh, looks like we are here, huh? Well, I've accomplished nothing. What do you mean? I didn't even stop at the dump. Oh no, I was talking about on this. Oh, well, I stopped. I just kept going so that you'd have more time. Look at all these weeds that get a full in town. Yeah. Mostly on the dry 